Good morning. Joy Capozzi here with Bible Thought for the, today, the promises of God on the day of Pentecost. John 14, verses 16 to 18. Jesus praying over his disciples, I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever, the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he dwells with you and will be with you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. And then from Acts 1, verses 4 and 5, And being assembled together with them, Jesus, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father. For John, truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. This is perhaps the greatest and best promise of all, the promise of the indwelling Holy Spirit. Today, we celebrate the day of Pentecost, which I believe should be celebrated as much as we celebrate Good Friday and Easter. The Apostle Paul wrote, who for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross. Jesus knew that harvest day was coming, or Pentecost. Pentecost was a harvest celebration, which he was the fulfillment of. The disciples were his first fruits, which he presented to the Father in his prayer at the Last Supper. He entrusted them to the Father's care until the Holy Spirit was shed abroad in their hearts to indwell them and make them powerful witnesses of his death and resurrection. On the day of Pentecost, the early church was birthed and over 3,000 believed and were baptized. Another verse tells us that the same mighty strength that raised Jesus from the dead by the power of the Holy Spirit now resides in each believer, you and me. What a wonderful resource we have at our disposal. All we could ever want or need is available and provided for through the person of the Holy Spirit who makes Jesus real to us. The Holy Spirit is our helper, helper our comforter, our advocate, our intercessor, our counselor, our strengthener, and our standby. What are you in need of today? Open up your heart and invite the Holy Spirit to fill you more greatly and supply the need. It's the Father's promise. Jesus said, ask, seek, knock, and it will be given to you. And he added that if an earthly father will fill the needs of his children, how much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? So ask away. Don't be shy and watch how the Holy Spirit supplies you with all that you are in need of. Have a wonderful day and remember to spread the word.